Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a look at some different options uh, that we can use to measure specific things in a larger point cloud project. Uh, as you can see, we've got a registered project in front of us. Um, it is There's already been a project point cloud created. In case you're wondering how to do that, you can go to some of our previous uh, videos. But suffice to say, once it's registered, you go to the top right-hand corner and the drop-down menu gives you a create project point cloud option and you just create one. Uh, the uh, advantages to having this project point cloud is when we ask to see it in 3D, the project will pop up very quickly without loading any of these scans. Therefore, be much easier on the computer. It'll pop up more quickly and give us the opportunity to create clip boxes. So uh, in this instance, we're going to look at measuring something specific inside of this building. So to do that, we'll just create our clipping box. And I like to center the clipping box in a way that uh, we can actually line it up with the walls. So when we start to reduce it, we're actually square with the project. So uh, that looks fairly close here. All right. Now we've got the project. It's in a clipping box. Now what do we do? One option is going to be, since we're going to be looking at a hand railing, let's just go ahead in the full 3D. We'll just reduce this down, see if we can find that hand railing. There it is. So as we just get rid of more and more detail here, this is going to be much easier to deal with. There. So we can do many things from here. We can take a look at specific heights Now, as we get our distance here, the other thing we can do is we can open up the actual measurement. And I want a vertical, not an overall. Um, you'll see why here in a second. The vertical is going to literally give us what the height of that is. And uh, the problem with doing an overall is that since I chose a spot out here in the floor, it's not going to give us an accurate vertical measurement of the actual banister here. It's going to be from the point on the floor to it. So always make sure that you grab a hold of the actual measure object in the tree on the left uh, and correct it. If, if you need something like an overall, that's fine. It's already set there. If you need a horizontal measurement or a vertical, you can choose it there. All right. Now one of the things here, we'll jump into the old interface make this a little easier to see. We'll change our point size. Um, give us a little bit easier way of seeing this project here. Sometimes getting rid of the uh, clip box visuals will help see a lot of this stuff too. All right, so now we can go in, look at some other specific things. Again, we've got our distance. We check over here, we double click on it, and it's again overall. So what I'm looking for here is a horizontal measurement. So I'll choose the horizontal, uh, maybe very close, but if you're looking for accurate measurements, you wanna make sure that you click on this over here. 
Uh, you, you can build in a lot of inaccuracy if you don't do that. Now, you can get a lot of overall measurements because you're using all of the scans in the project and you see the um, uh, this banister from a lot of different angles. So your larger measurements can come that way. Uh, you can also just open up a single scan in quick view and just double click it. And we'll find the best angle here. That might be it. Now, as this thing loads, you can see where we've got a pretty nice view of, uh, of the banister here. And what we can do is begin to measure some different things from here. Now, doing it in 2D, it's always a good idea to go back and check where you grabbed your measurement from. So by using the rectangular selector, we will view it in 3D. It's going to pull this forward and give us an opportunity by putting a center point here to see exactly where we grabbed. And that's accurate. Um, sometimes uh, it's, it's not uncommon to uh, miss your point where you're grabbing from, like this. where it might look like you grabbed the correct space. You've got a really odd measurement. Go into our rectangular selector. Once again, pull it out into 3D. And we can quickly see what we've done. We, uh, we missed the actual railing and grabbed something on the wall behind it. So uh, always a good idea when you're working in 2D to grab it real quickly and pull it out into 3D. Just a couple different ideas on how you can uh, use scene to do a lot of your basic measurements. Uh, thank you and let us know if there's anything that you'd like to see on our website. We will go ahead and uh, look at creating some specific content for uh, some of the questions that you guys have.